Here's what would happen if we nuked Jupiter. This gas giant may be the biggest planet in our solar system, but it's about to say goodbye forever. Today, we're using all 12,331 of Earth's biggest, baddest bombs to blow the gas giant into oblivion. Nuclear weapons are so powerful that even the low yield versions, like those dropped on Japan by the United States in World War II, have the explosive equivalent of 15 to 20 kilotons of dynamite each. The distance between Earth and Jupiter fluctuates from about 590 million to 970 million kilometers. So once we strap all our bombs onto our speedy rockets, we'd only be looking at about two years to get the job done. As the first of our bombs exploded on Jupiter, you'd see bright flashes on the planet, right from back here on Earth. But even though our nukes could produce an explosion hotter than the sun, this wouldn't cause all the hydrogen on Jupiter to ignite. It just isn't dense enough to sustain nuclear fusion. And if every bomb was detonated, Jupiter wouldn't even blow up completely. In order to do that, we'd need to unleash as much energy as the sun releases over 160 years all at once. And for that highly energetic result, about one billion giant nukes would be required. But to build that many bombs, you'd need a combined mass of material that would almost be twice that of the largest moon in the solar system, Jupiter's Ganymede, which is bigger than Pluto and Mercury. All right, well, this probably wasn't the best idea because 